Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise to lend my support. Mr. Speaker, I rise to lend support to the Julian Alfred D. Bill presented moments ago by the Honorable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, it would be remiss of me to sit here and allow that bill to go through all of its stages without adding my voice in support. Let me start off by saying that I believe this is historic, Mr. Speaker. This is monumental, this is epic, and this is massive in the context of how our government puts people first. And Mr. Speaker, we should not lose sight of the achievement um, by Julian Alfred. The magnitude and the significance of this achievement must not be allowed to escape the people of St. Lucia. And it has to resonate in the psyche of our people, not just for the coming weeks and months, but for generations. Mr. Speaker, this is the first time that St. Lucia has recorded or has won a medal at the Olympics. And Julian did it in 100 meters, one of the most prestigious events at the Olympics at the time, Mr. Speaker, I'm sure there were persons who doubted her ability to do it. And so the government has seen it necessary, the Prime Minister and the Cabinet, to actually set aside a day called Julian Alfred Day, where we can bring the national spotlight to bear on the achievement of this particular young lady. And Mr. Speaker, the bill is even more significant than just meeting legal requirements to declare a particular day a holiday. But as a result of what is happening here in this chamber this afternoon, Mr. Speaker, we are saying to the young people of this country that if you achieve and you demonstrate on the global stage your true potential, you have the full backing of the government of St. Lucia led by this administration and the St. Lucia Labour Party. This achievement, Mr. Speaker, has given us an opportunity to reset as a people, and it is once again a reminder of what is possible when state resources can be placed at the disposal of people who have potential and ability, Mr. Speaker, to go out there and do well for themselves, their communities, and by extension, our nation. And Julian demonstrated once again that smallness of size is not an impediment to what can be achieved by us as a people. And before her, the late Sir Arthur Lewis would have demonstrated, Mr. Speaker, with his Nobel Prize, as, as did Derek Walcott, that notwithstanding we are 238 square miles and with an average population of 170 and a population of approximately 175, 80,000 people, Mr. Speaker, that we are a very rich repository of talent and that we can achieve. Mr. Speaker, I'm going to all that I can support the Premier Premier Minister of Japan in the first place. When I Parliament and I said Kai consiste et puis j'en sais de l'ici, généralement, date il cap point le 27 mois septembre l'année ça, qu'on en holiday côté whole pays a qui vini ensemble pour célébrer ça Julian Alfred fait nous en Olympics en France en une des semaines qui passait. Donc mais qu'à quoi ça n'est pas significant, Mr. Speaker, que ça c'était une opportunité les Julian Gay pour mener tout le monde ensemble. Et nous pas ni pour quoi ça a comme dit c'est un bail qui a fait tous les jours. Mais il a dit nous que cette place-ci est en place qui n'y a pas de monde qui n'y a pas de Et là où point l'argent du gouvernement, et que vous mettez, il y a un investissement en jeune monde, là, il y a un pile de bagages qui sont faits pour mener l'honneur de la famille, de la famille, de la commune et de la pays entièrement. Ce qui est aussi impressive sur le 27 septembre comme holiday, Mr. Speaker, c'est que ce n'est pas optionnel. Ce n'est pas un cas où les personnes qui probably our sports enthusiasts can decide, well, yes, I'm, I will be a part of this. But the Prime Minister has deliberately said to all and sundry that irrespective of your religious um, beliefs, Mr. Speaker, your political persuasion, um, whether you, you, you are into sports or not, that this merits the full attention of the entire nation. And that is why the entire day has been set aside as a holiday where schools will be closed, business places will be closed, banks will not be operational on that day because we want to bring the entire spotlight and the collective focus of the nation on the achievements of Julian Alfred. And Mr. Speaker, given the fact that we are dealing with the bill at, its, at the second reading stage, 
I want to profit the opportunity to ask all St. Lucians who are able to come out on that day, Mr. Speaker, and show their appreciation for what this young lady would have done. And yes, the spotlight will be on Julian. Yes, we are celebrating her achievements, but therein, Mr. Speaker, lies an opportunity for us to vicariously engage the younger folk, whether they are in the sporting realm, they are in the creative industries, or in the realm of, or the realm of academia, that if they demonstrate true potential and ability, there is a government that can assist them to help them nurture their talent so that they, too, like Julian, can project that, that natural ability on the global stage, of course, bringing glory and honor to our country. So, Mr. Speaker, with this very brief contribution on behalf of the people of Denry North, in, on whose behalf I speak whenever I take my position in this chamber, I want to support the proposed legislation to have the 27th of September as a holiday, a day on which we will all come out in large numbers and support the exploits and celebrate the achievements of Julian Alfred.